Namaskaram, having learned the concepts and mantras, let's solve the problems. If x is to y is 2 is to 3, y is to z is 5 is to 7, then x is to y is to z is. Mantra 1. Okay. Compare the values and eliminate the options. x is to y is 2 is to 3. No, I am taking this ratio. x is smaller. Okay. x is in the form of 2x, y is in the form of 3x, x is smaller, y is bigger. In options, we need to have x smaller, y bigger, x smaller here, 10. Okay, 10 is less than 21. Okay, this is fine. x is bigger here. Okay, so this is eliminated. x bigger than y. 15 is bigger than 10. No, eliminated. Here, x smaller than y. Okay, let's leave it. Here, x bigger than y. Okay, eliminate this. So, using first mantra, we eliminated two options. Let's go for second mantra. See, y is multiple of 3. Okay. 21 is multiple of 3. 3 is 7. Za. Okay. 15 also multiple of 3. 3 is 5. Za. So, it's not giving us anything. Here, if you see, y is to z. y is also multiple of 5. 21 is not multiple of 5, guys. 15, yes. 5 into 3. Okay. So, this should be our answer. Let's go for third mantra. Okay. X is to Y should be 2 is to 3. 10, 15, no. 5, 2 is a 5, 3 is a 5 is common in both the quantities. Okay. Both the terms. So, 5 you cancel. 2 is to 3. Answer is C. 10 is to 21. It's not 2 is to 3. You cannot cancel anything and get 2 is to 3. Okay. So, our answer is a C here. We can solve this using second ratio as well. Y is to Z. 5 is to 7. Okay. So, Y is smaller. Z is bigger. See, Y is bigger here. Z is smaller. Eliminate this. Y is smaller. Z is bigger. Satisfies. Y is smaller, Z is bigger, satisfies. Y is smaller, Z is bigger, satisfies. So, we are able to eliminate one option only. Now, using this, it's smaller, Y bigger, no? You can eliminate this, you can eliminate this because in these two options, X is bigger than Y. 15 is bigger than 10, 21 is bigger than 10. So, just comparing the values, you can answer this. Okay, answer is C. At the second ratio, Y is to Z. Mantra 1, using that, I eliminated this. I took the first ratio, eliminated these two. I left with this option only. This is my answer. Now, Y is to Z is 5 is to 7, no? Z is multiple of 7. 15 is not multiple of 7. 15 is not multiple of 7. These two possibilities. Y should be multiple of 3. 10 is not multiple of 3. 15 is multiple of 3. Answer is C. Y is to Z should be 5 is to 7. Okay. 15, 21, 3, 5 is a 3, 7 is a 3. You can cancel out 5 is to 7. It's satisfying. No other option satisfies that. Okay. Here 7 is to 5. Here uh, it doesn't satisfy. Nothing to cancel. Here 2 is to 3, 5, 2 is a 5, 3 is a, okay. See, same problem, different methods I am using. This comes with the practice. You can go for mantra 1 and solve the problem, mantra 2, mantra 3, combining all these mantras. Now, let's solve this problem conventionally, okay. X is to Y is 2 is to 3. We can write X as 2A, Y as 3A, Y is to Z is 5 is to 7, Y as 5b, z as 7b, y should be equal, okay. So, 3a should be equal to 5b, okay. b is 3a by 5. If you bring 5 this side, it would be in the denominator. Now, z, z is 7b, no. So, 7 into b, what is b? 3a by 5. I am converting everything in terms of a, only one variable, okay, a. So, this is 21 by 5 a. Now, x is 2. Okay. 2a is 2. x is 2a. y 3a. z 21a by 5. Okay. I wanted to cancel out this 5 in the denominator. So, multiplying every term with 5. 5 into 2 10a. 5 into 3 15a. 
5 into 21 by 5. Okay, when you multiply with 5 here, 5, 5 gets cancelled. 21 ye, 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 ye gets cancelled. 10 is to 15 is to 21. So, answer is C. See, this conventional method is bit longer. There is a short way also. See, here y is different in both the ratios, right? And you equated them, found out a relation between b and a. What if you can make y equal? See, I am having x is to y as 2 is to 3, y is to z as 5 is to 7. I want to make y equal in both the ratios. So, I am multiplying this ratio with 5, multiplying this ratio with 3, okay, multiplying this ratio with this value 5 and multiplying this ratio with this value 3, okay. So, 5 into 2, okay, 5 into 2 and a 5 into 3 here, okay, here 3 into 5, 3 into 7, okay, 5 into 2 is 10 here, 21, uh, 5 3 is a 15, not 21, 15, okay, here 15, here 21. Now see, you got h c is to y as 10 is to 15, y is to z as 15 is to 21. You can take it as 10 a, okay, 15a, here 15b, 21b, okay, y and z. These two should be equal, 15a should be 15b, a is equal to b. Rather than doing like this, you just made a is equal to b. How you can make a is equal to b? By, by multiplying this y value with this y value, okay? And uh, this y value with this y value, okay? I mean, this ratio with this y value, this ratio with this y value, okay? So, see, you got 15 here, you got 15 here. So, you don't need to deal with uh, a, b, c is there, okay? Both are equal. So, 10 is to 15 is to 21, x is to y is to z, clear?